I've had numerous motorcycles over the years, and of course, I like to keep them clean, but I've been doing it all wrong, and you might be too. In this video, I'm gonna show you the new way I wash my motorcycle and share some tools and products that not only make it quicker, but easier. Now let's hop into it. For all the products and tools that I'll use, I'll make sure to leave some affiliate links down in the description. Full disclosure, I do make a small commission, but it's no extra cost to you, and it helps support the channel. This is very simple. I just lay down some extra packing foam that I had laying around, and I'll set the saddlebags on there. And I like using this foam because it doesn't get all soggy, and I don't have to worry about it falling apart on me. Come over here and take the other one off as well. We'll just go ahead and set these right over here. My first game-changing tip, make sure you go out and get a quality motorcycle jack. This makes it so much easier to clean the bike and I'll show you why here in a bit. Basically all you have to do, slide it underneath the motorcycle, start jacking it up, and you do have to make sure it's pretty center so that way the bike isn't lopsided one way. And then I'll just jack this all the way up. I didn't personally buy this jack. I got this from my wife's dad, and it's made by Goodyear, but I'll leave some links in the descriptions for some similar jacks. And then I'll bring it down, so that way not all the pressure is on the jack itself. There it is. And as you can see, when it's jacked up all the way, it's not wobbling all over the place. You'll know if it's uneven. Now the reason why I like jacking this up because now everything is pretty much at my level, so I'm not bending over as much. I am gonna be doing a little bit of bending over to get some of the spots, but a major advantage is now when I go to clean the wheel, because you know how everybody hates cleaning the rear wheel, I can spin it. You have to make sure obviously the bike's in neutral, but you're able to spin the rear wheel and the front wheel so it's easier to clean. And another note, if you have an exposed air filter like I do, make sure you put the rain cover on there because you don't wanna get that wet. Now that I have it all up in the air ready to wash, the new way I wash the bike now is I used to use just like your bucket of soap and water and then you know use your little wash mitt. Now, I got a foam cannon, and this thing is a complete game changer. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks for a full kit, and I'll show you exactly what came with it, but this, this right here is a game changer. So as you can see right here, it has a quick disconnect on it, and this goes to the wand for a pressure washer. Yes, I know, a pressure washer, everybody says, oh, don't do that, don't do that. You don't never want a pressure washer a bike, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. One note I wanna add, if you end up getting this, it comes with an extra piece that you have to replace, so that way you can get the best results. Let me show you that. Take this off of here. So in here, you have to disconnect this part on the end, so on the inside right here, you see you can take a flathead screwdriver, you unscrew that, take that out, and it comes with a different one. It's like, I don't even know what they call it. It's kind of like the restriction that the water goes through. And I think it comes with a 1.0, and this is a 1.1 in there. It has it printed on there. And this is gonna create the most foam possible. And after you replace that, you just screw it back on. Easy peasy, nothing to it. So in the kit that I got on Amazon, it comes of course with the foam cannon and then a new handle for your pressure washer. And this is a short handle and this makes a world of difference. Let me show you the original handle that I had on my pressure washer. So you can see the difference. This is the handle that came with my pressure washer, just a Ryobi handle. Look how long this thing is compared to the short little handle. And when you're spraying the bike, it's just so much easier. And let me show you how this works. All you have to do, pull that connect back, push this in, and it's on there. And this swivels a little bit. So before we start doing anything, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with water. I don't have any tips on here, so I'll just turn the water on, and I'll start filling this up to about three quarters of the way or so. I don't know if you can see that, it's about three quarters of the way. And of course, it's gonna start raining while I'm washing the bike, go figure. Then I'm gonna use this soap right here made by Underdog. It's a small family owned company that contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try their products, and I figured I'd give them a shot. And I did test this before I shot this video to make sure it's good. And let me tell you, this is some really good stuff. Full disclosure, they sent me this soap for free, but I absolutely love it. I'm only gonna share stuff with you guys that I think that's actually worth it, and this stuff is for sure. Now I'll use my trusty recycling garbage can as a table. Nice thing about 
this foam cannon is right here. It has a little cap and it's actually a measuring cup. So I'll go ahead, take some of this soap, I fill this up and then I'm just gonna dump it in here. And it doesn't take much. I'll do like two caps of this. This stuff smells like bubble gum. I almost wanna drink it, but we all know that wouldn't be a good idea. And you just screw this back in. And this is the second time I'm using this bottle and look how much I use. And it's cheap. Like I was expecting this stuff to be, you know, 30, 40 bucks, but I believe right now it's only $17.99 for 32 ounce bottle. So I'm gonna be a repeat customer on this. So after you fill it up, all you have to do, screw this on here and you're ready to hook it up to the pressure washer. Go ahead and take my handle, do the quick disconnect, boom on there, ready to roll, baby. This is all ready to roll. You have a knob on top here to control the foam level. And just to start off, I'm gonna turn it to the left and that's gonna make it the less amount of foam. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the bike wet. Oh, probably help if I turn on the pressure washer. So I just spray it down. Then on the front here, you can twist this to control like the spray of it. So I just like to have it all fanned out here. Just get the bike a little wet. I'll go around the entire bike here. So this is one thing I didn't know. So typically I got my bucket of soap and water and then I'll take my wash mitt after I sprayed down the bike and then I just start wiping it down. So the downfall of that, I learned that if you start doing that, then you can actually push the dust into the paint, which obviously isn't good. So this is the new way you should do it. I'm gonna turn this knob so that way I can get the max amount of foam. And this is where all the magic happens. Watch this. Oh yeah, baby. Then you're just gonna coat the entire bike with foam. And basically you just wanna get this all covered and what this foam is doing, it's sitting on there, it's pulling all the dust off. Get the other side here, get it all up in the wheels. Oh yeah. And that used about half of the foam cannon, so not bad. You just let that sit for a little bit and get all that dirt and dust off of there. And also, you don't need a high pressure power washer. This is only 1600 PSI and gets the job done. As you can see, that foam doing its thing, pulling all that dirt and nasty crap off of there. I'll get over to the saddlebags here after I get this done. You don't want this stuff drying on the bike. So only a couple minutes and then we'll wash it off. It's been a couple minutes, so now I'm gonna turn this knob so that way it's only spraying straight water. That's what's nice about this. You don't have to take this off and then put like a regular nozzle on the end, even though the kit does come with some nozzles, but we're not gonna use those. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse all this stuff off. And look at the pressure coming out of this. I'm, it's not like I'm shooting super high pressure onto the bike because you don't want water getting in places that you don't want it. You don't have to get all the soap off, just get the majority of it off so you can get some of that dust off of there. Go ahead, rinse off this other side. All right, now that I have that all done, I'm gonna use the quick disconnect real quick. Then I'm gonna get my wash mitt, get that nice and wet. It's good to go. Set that up here for a second. Then here it is, easy as this. Boom, good to go. I already turned this all the way, so that way I got foam. And I'm, now I'm just gonna work section by section. So I like to start off with the front here. Look at that foam, baby. It's just so satisfying seeing the foam too. I don't know what it is about it. So get a nice coat on there. Then I'm just gonna take my wash mitt, start scrubbing away a little bit. And I like these wash mitts because you got these hair, you know, get into the, crevices and stuff. All I do is a nice wipe down, nothing fancy. Then for the wheels, you can also get these on Amazon. I use these little brushes and these are flexible. So you can kind of bend them whichever way you need to get the wheels done. Now go ahead and just put another nice coat on the wheels, spin it. Nice and easy. And I'll take my brush. I usually keep a little bend in it. it makes it a little bit easier to, to get into these tight spots. I'll just go all the way around the wheel, scrubbing it, getting all that dirt off. And as I said, with this being on the jack, it makes it so much easier 
you can just spin the wheel as you go. And a tip that I like to use, I'll typically start at the valve stem so that way I know where I ended up starting so that way I don't scrub it a million times. And then I'll just flip around to the other side, do the same thing, start at the valve stem. And I just spray everything back down. Rinse it all off. All right, looking good. Now that I got the front done, now I'll move on to this side, spin the knob so that way I can get the max foam. Let it go, baby. God, it's so satisfying. I don't know, call me crazy. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy the foam as well. It's relaxing. So just like the other side, I'll start from the top down. Just give everything a nice scrub. Here's the advantage of getting the saddlebags off. You can get back here behind your fender and whatnot, get your shocks, get the top of their exhaust here. Tab performance, baby. And then get back behind your side cover because you know the bags cover this portion right here. Take your foam cannon, make it so it's only shooting water, rinse and repeat. My way over here to the back. Yeah, don't need much for that. Quick little scrub, gotta get those Custom dynamic lights, all nice and shined up. Good, twist this back to all water. Rinse her off. Again, move this over to foam. Still have about here on the foam cannon, so I'm running a little low. The last side here. Also, while you're washing your bike, this is a good time, you know, do a good look over. Make sure you don't see any loose bolts or anything like that or any damage. And don't forget your oil filter. I always miss that for some reason. Rinse her down. Now I'll go ahead and get the rear wheel. I got plenty in there to do the rear wheel. Of course, the bike's in neutral, so I'm gonna spin this and get the rest of the wheel. Go ahead and take my brush. Just get in here, start at the valve stem, spin it as I go. Rinse this all down. All right, look at that. I'm gonna have just enough to do the saddlebags here. Spray them down with some water first. I'll do the same thing. I'll get a coat of foam on them, let it soak for a minute or two, spray them down, get all the heavy dust off of them. Then I'll have just enough for one more foam coat and I'll wipe them down. There it is. My wash mitt, wipe these all down. And I'll wash all the soap off. So now that I have everything clean, I'm gonna do one more quick spray with only water. And then this is key because this will help reduce the amount of water spots that I got. And wait till I show you guys how I dry the bike. It's not your typical leaf blower, it's awesome. Now this right here, it's a little filthy. Don't mind me, it just sits in my garage. I wish I would have got this way earlier. I mean, I just got this a couple months ago. It's a heated blower, comes with a bunch of different attachments. Got this on Amazon. It's about a hundred bucks worth every single penny. So let me show you here. It has a heating option right here, high and low, and then you got airflow high and low. So I'll go ahead and turn this on. I always have it on high. And this attachment right here, this is the one that I like to use. Turn it on, turn it on high. And I also have the heating on high. And as you can hear, it's really not that loud. Real nice long hose. And when you're doing this, you wanna start at the top, just like the way you washed it, work your way down. And I've found that when you use this soap, like this water just beads right off. It's real nice. And by drying it off this way, this will eliminate quite a few water spots that you get. And I have pretty hard water, so I usually get a lot of hard water spots. But by using this soap, man, it is an absolute game changer. I can't recommend this soap enough. Also helps to get in the tight spots where you always have that built up water. And then when you move the bike, it drips down and ruins what you just did. Not to mention, and how much time this saves. Here, now let me just show you a close-up of this water just blowing right off of here. Freaking effortless. Gone. Completely dry. And of course, because this is heated, it gets this dry a lot quicker. This blower right here is nice because you can get it in these deep cracks and crevices and then get all that 
water out of there. Another spot where the water likes to build up in the mirror and your hand controls. Down in here where the engine is can be a tough spot to reach too. Then right here for the connection for my saddlebag lights, I like to blow this out, make sure that gets all nice and dry. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys with me blowing all this water off, so I'll be back once I'm all finished. And when I'm all done drying the bike, I'll go ahead and put my saddlebags back on. I blew out these plugs to make sure that there was no water in there, so then I can plug in my saddlebag lights. Now that the bike's all dry, I like to use a quick detail, and Underdog sent me this as well. This stuff is phenomenal also. So I just get a clean microfiber. I got the ones off of Amazon by Chemical Guys. I like them, they work. Spray a little bit on there. Then I just wipe off all the painted parts. And this also works on chrome as well. So it's pretty much safe for all surfaces. But of course, always try a little test spot before you go ham on it. And this stuff leaves some type of film on it. I mean, I can let my bike sit in the garage. I let it sit in there for like two weeks and zero dust. It's unbelievable. And then I'll use this stuff here and there just to maintain the shine so that way I don't have to do a wet wash every time. I mean, just look at that. It's like a mirror shine. It's beautiful. The bike's all nice and clean now. All I have to do is let it off the jack. And as I mentioned, I'll leave affiliate links down in the description if you're interested in any of these tools or products. Now, by no means am I a professional detailer. I just wanted to share some tips that work for me and hopefully they'll work for you. Do you have any other tips that you'd like to share? Let me know down in the comments. If you want some more motor Motorcycle tips and tricks, check out this playlist right here. As always, this is Jogo with Jogo Motorcycle Adventures. Until next time, ride on.